Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x over x plus 1 whole squared plus uh, x over x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 12. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. First of all, we suppose that uh, this uh, x over x plus 1 is equal to a and this uh, x over x minus 1 is equal to b let x over x plus 1 is equal to a and x over x minus 1 is equal to b and we substitute a and b in this equation then this equation will become a squared plus b squared is equal to 12. Now by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. If we move this plus 2ab to the left side, then this equation will become a plus b whole squared minus 2ab is equal to a squared plus b squared. So, in this equation, we replace this uh, a squared plus b squared with this uh, a plus b whole squared minus 2ab. Then, this equation will become a plus b whole squared minus 2ab is equal to 12. Now, we replace this a with this uh, x over x plus 1 and we replace this b with this x over x minus 1. Then this equation will become x over x plus 1 plus uh, in place of this b we write this uh, x over x minus 1 whole squared minus this 2 2 times in place of this a we write this uh, x over x plus 1 times in place of this b we write this x over x minus 1 is equal to 12. Now from here we take the LCM of this denominator x plus 1 and this denominator x minus 1. The LCM of x plus 1 and x minus 1 is x plus 1 times x minus 1. And when we divide this LCM by this x plus 1, we get this x minus 1. So, we multiply this numerator x with this x minus 1. So, x times x minus 1. This plus will come here. And when we divide this LCM by this x minus 1, we get this x plus 1. So, we multiply this uh, numerator x with this x plus 1. So, here comes x times x plus 1. And this whole square. Whole square. Minus this uh, 2 times x 2x and 2x times x 2x squared divided by this uh, x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to x squared minus 1 is equal to 12. Now, we further simplify this expression in the numerator. We multiply this x by this x, x times x, x squared and x times negative 1, negative x. Now, this plus x times x plus x squared and plus x times plus 1 plus x divided by this uh, x plus 1 times x minus 1 is x squared minus 1 whole squared minus this expression 2x squared divided by x squared minus 1 is equal to 12. Now, this uh, positive x will be cancelled out with this negative x 
and this 1x squared plus this 1x squared will become 2x squared divided by x squared minus 1 whole squared minus 2x squared divided by x squared minus 1 is equal to 12. Now here we have a 2x squared over x squared minus 1 and here we have a 2x squared over x squared minus 1. So we suppose that uh, let 2x squared divided by x squared minus 1 is equal to m and we substitute m in this equation then this equation will become m squared minus m is equal to 12. We move this 12 to the left side m squared minus m minus 12 is equal to 0. Now this uh, quadratic equation is a factorable so we solve it by factorization. We write this m squared first m squared and we split this uh, negative m as we split this negative m as negative 4m plus 3m. We split this uh, negative m as negative 4m plus 3m minus this 12 is equal to 0. Now from these two terms uh, we can factor out m. m as a common factor and in bracket left m minus 4. And from these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 3 plus 3 as a common factor and in bracket left m minus 4 is equal to 0. Now this expression m minus 4, this expression m minus 4 is a common factor. So we factor out this m minus 4 and in bracket left, in bracket left this m and this plus 3, in bracket left m plus 3 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression m minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression m plus 3 is equal to 0 and from this equation we get the value of m is equal to 4 and from this equation we get the value of m is equal to negative 3. Now to find the values of x we recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 2x squared over x squared minus 1 is equal to m. We have supposed that 2x squared divided by x squared minus 1 is equal to m. First in this equation we put the value of m 4 then this equation will become 2x squared divided by x squared minus 1 is equal to 4 and we can write the denominator of this 4 1 and we use cross multiplication we multiply this 4 by this x squared minus 1 and we multiply this 1 by this 2x squared so this becomes 4 times x squared minus 1 is equal to 1 times 2x squared 2x squared. Now 4 times x squared 4x squared and 4 times negative 1 negative 4 is equal to 2x squared. Now if we divide both sides of this equation by 2 then this equation will become 2x squared minus 2 is equal to x squared. Now we move this negative 2 to the right side and this x squared to the left side. Then this becomes 2x squared. This plus x squared become negative x squared is equal to this negative 2 become positive 2 at right side and 2x squared minus 1x squared x squared is equal to 2 and from here 
we take square root of both sides and this square will be cancelled out with the square root and we are left with x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2. So these are the value of x1 and x2. Now to find other solutions in this equation we put this value of m negative 3 then this equation will become 2x squared divided by x squared minus 1 is equal to negative 3 and we can write the denominator of this negative 3 1 and we use the cross multiplication we multiply this one by this 2x squared and we multiply this uh, negative 3 by this uh, x squared minus 1. So, one time this uh, 2 x squared 2 x squared is equal to negative 3 times x squared minus 1 and uh, 2 x squared is equal to negative 3 times x squared negative 3 x squared negative 3 times negative 1 plus 3. We move this in negative 3x squared to the left side, then 2x squared plus 3x squared will be equal to 3. Now, this 2x squared plus 3x squared will become 5x squared is equal to 3. And if we divide both sides by 5, then x squared will be equal to 3 over 3. 5. Now, from here we take a square root of both sides. So, this square will be cancelled out with this square root and we get the value of x3 and x4 is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 over 5. So, these are the four solutions of this equation.